guys. So I'm Jennifer. This is Jason from Flame Imperishable. We're going to bring you another reaction video to another ghost song because we're having a lot of fun with this band at the moment. And this is Opus Eponymous. That's the name of the album. Oh. We're listening to a song called Elizabeth. Oh, good to know. <clears throat> Elizabeth. Do you know who Elizabeth is? There are many Elizabeths. Let me enlighten you. Is it Elizabeth Bathory? Yes. I don't know how I knew that, but... What? How, how <laughs> could you guess any other Elizabeth? Like, what other Elizabeth would a, a band like Ghost write a song about? I don't know. Maybe, uh... Elizabeth, Elizabeth? Elizabeth Bennett from Pride and Prejudice? Probably not. It could not. happen. Probably not. It could happen. Maybe Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, or maybe it that It could song. happen. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with uh, the, the serial killer of who she is, and... Uh, is she real, though? I'm like, pretty sure she's real, yeah. Like, a, she's a historical figure. A historical figure, yes. I feel like she's kind of like Vlad the Impaler, you know? Yeah. It's like the, there's a lot of mythos behind her. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm sure she was an awful person, but I feel like some stuff's been really... Uh, Camelot did a, a trilogy of songs about Elizabeth as well. Yes, they're highly disturbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so... Yes. If you don't know, she thought she could have uh, eternal youth by bathing in virgin's blood. So she started killing her handmaidens, or, or I think, and uh, yes. that's what happened. But um, now, she was crazy. bands like Cradle of Filth, Ghost, and Camelot write songs about her, so... Uh-huh, yeah. I'm a little skeptical, but okay. Yeah, let's go. This uh, ghost song I've heard so far. It's almost uh, kind of thrashy, you know? Yeah, I can hear that, yeah. yeah. Place right after that really fast thrashy kind of verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <clears throat> and it, it it was such a great contrast with his vocal delivery too, um, where he like da, 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 da. I can't sing so, but um, <laughs> that the, part. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the way yeah he does the little listening thing yeah. Uh, but but once they got into the chorus section, it it turned into almost like. Like almost like bloody tears from Castlevania kind of a uh, vibe to me, hmm. and I just I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I want to hear it again. Well, I'm sure they'll they'll play the chorus again. Let's. <laughs> who doesn't play a chorus at least twice? That's kind of the rule. Yeah. yeah.
for how... Okay, one of my favorite things is when you have, like, two different melodies happening kind of at the same time. They mm, feel like... Yeah. They feel almost like they could exist by themselves. Yeah. Like, they're that interesting. Mm -hmm. But somehow they just work together. Yeah. You know? It, it just kind of... It takes a, a cool idea and it raises it like exponentially in the uh, awesome department. <laughs> so. double the chorus yeah. and do the same thing exactly the way, the way you just did it. You got to mm -hmm. add something to build it, you know, move yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they never do the same thing twice. And that's one of the things I've appreciated about their songwriting is, you know, they, I mean, the songs usually that I've heard aren't like, they're not like groundbreakingly, groundbreakingly, uh, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. Like changing up, like, formulas that have ex been like around for decades yeah i know but they're a nice mix of what is proven to work and innovation and creativity yeah it's like yeah if you want if you want to write a good song um that people will want to listen to you kind of have to like keep it within certain like boxes mm -hmm. but I mean, not be not that you're conformed to those boxes, but you can still, you can still innovate and create something that's very unique sounding yeah. without completely like, like, turning people off. You know. Like, oh well, absolutely. I think, yeah. and the same thing goes with storytelling. You want to, you want to have certain foundational elements that people are familiar with, that they're nostalgic about, um, to kind of keep them grounded. Um, but then you want to add a certain amount of innovation and artistry to keep them interested. And I think Ghost is really good at doing that. Yeah, I, I thought that that chorus was just, it was great. Not gonna lie, I find Bathory really creepy. Well, duh. I just don't know. I mean, it's basically cannibalism. Yeah, I mean, for sure. She's... It's, it's pretty bad. I'm just curious, like... About as bad as it gets. Are, do, do any Ghost fans, like, think Elizabeth was, like, a good person? Like, you're, no. you're, you're, you're well, happy about Well, I the song, her, okay? But, so then he... Because yeah. I don't... I, I'm pretty sure most Ghost fans are like, you know what? Yeah, she was a sick, horrible person. And, no, I mean, I get uh, that. That's not the question. I yeah. just find her creepy, and it's hard for me to enjoy a song that I know is about her. Uh -huh. Just because I find her so creepy. I don't like, know. I, whether I love it's good or bad, it. like, like just, I just what? Well, yeah, creepy, horrible, but uh, but okay. To be fair, to be fair, for context, I feel the same way about zombies. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good a movie is or a show is. 
if there's zombies in it, I get creeped out and I can't enjoy it. I can't relax. And I feel the same way about Bathory. It's just, I just can't. I don't know. Ugh. Zombies, huh? Zombies. I mean, anything else. Demons, vampires, whatever, you know? Yeah, but, she, you didn't think Exorcist was scary, but you, you thought Exorcist Shaun of the like, Dead was scary. Shaun of the Dead was terrifying. Shaun of the Dead. It was really scary. I don't know. <laughs> the Exorcist was kind of hilarious. No, that was that was scary the first time I saw it. Well, yeah, but you were like 12. No, I wasn't. I was like 20. Really? Yeah. Oh. But like the 80th time I saw it, it wasn't that scary. No. What does that say about me that I've seen that movie 80 times? <clears throat> don't know. I don't know. What does it say about me that I wasn't scared? What does it say about me that you're still with me? Or you, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, that was an awesome song. Yeah. Another, uh, I didn't like it as much as Absolution, which we just listened to. Well, that's the but other But you know thing. what? I love this song. That's yeah. like saying pizza's good, but I don't like it as much as... Lasagna? Macaroni and cheese. Uh, yeah. Macaroni and cheese. So two things you really like, but like... Usually you, you prefer one over the other. And it was really, it was just that, that iconic, like, Absolution riff that just got me. Oh my gosh, Absolution was and, so cool. But this song had, like, the atmosphere that really, like, kind yeah. of gelled with me. Especially that chorus, which was, yeah. like, yeah, awesome. <laughs> I have not heard a ghost song I hated or really even disliked no. so far. Mm -mm. There's got to be at least one out there. You would think. We should do a search. Well, we, we will. Yes. We're just going to keep reviewing ghost songs until we find one that we hate. Yes, and then we'll just move on to the next band. No. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, fun fact, uh, Ghost actually played in uh, Houston last night. Oh yeah? Yeah, and we didn't go. Darn. Because we have kids and we didn't have a babysitter, so. Uh, uh, and I just found, I found out about it like really late, you know, because you know, we just recently started listening to Ghost yeah. stuff, so yeah. I felt Kind of like a poser going to one of their concerts. You know, I'm but. glad though that they're starting to do more and more concerts. Yeah. Like I feel like so many. I was supposed to go see. Um, oh my brain. August. Burns red. Burns red. Thank you. I love them, but they actually got COVID and they had to cancel the concert. Yeah. It really stinks. So hoping to see them when they come back around. Yeah. Anyway. Good night. <laughs> Subscribe. Watch the play the video. Like like the like the stuff. Yes, like all the stuff. And, like all uh, the videos. Like like us.